Well, Petra, congratulations. You're coming off a great year in 2018. You've already won a tournament leading in here. You haven't lost a set so far. Are you playing some of the best tennis of your career? Yeah, possibly. Um, <laughs> yeah, I'm not really um, thinking about anything else. Just enjoy the tennis on the court. And uh, I had a, such a great run in Sydney, which uh, was the brilliant final over there. And I'm just happy that I could continue in this kind of performance here as well. What is working so well, though, specifically on court? Have you been working on anything? What's, what's clicking, or is it everything? Um, yeah, almost everything, yeah. I think. I am trying to play my game, which is pretty aggressive, and uh, I'm feeling pretty uh, good on the court uh, physically. And uh, I think that my mindset is it's pretty well, and uh, I'm serving pretty well as well, which is very important. Take us behind the scenes. What happens now over the next few hours? Where, where do you go? Do you go out for dinner? Are we speaking with your coach? I'm sure the fans would be interested. Take us behind the scenes a little bit. Well, it's almost eight, so it's not really uh, much time to do anything, just to kind of eat well, uh, have a massage. I do have some media as well, but uh, first of all, the recovery is the most important thing right now. And you've got uh, Amanda Animasova next from the United States. She's only 17. Do you know much about her? Yeah, I do. I lost her in Indian Wells last year, so um, it wasn't a really great match from my side. So hopefully this match will be better and uh, I, I can just improve. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be watching. Well done tonight. Straight through to the round of 16, ladies and gentlemen, Petra Kavitova.